Welcome back to Booty, Session 9, Part 2. Today, you join us at a moment of change. This could be considered the end of Act 2 of Booty. Uh, and indeed, we'll see us take a short hiatus of three to four weeks whilst Craig goes off and gets bloody married. Craig, if you're unsure who that is, it plays Kapipi, your favorite turtle. Um, so this is going to be a little bow on this part of the show. It's probably not going to be quite as long as the previous session, simply because it won't take that long. But we hope you enjoy it, and it will set us up for the final act of this great adventure, which should be full of hijinks, high seas, and low expectations. Last session, the gang managed to get the lead wagons out of the jungle. After a little bit of revenge from the kobolds, they so evilly wronged. However, they killed all the kobolds and one of them ran away crying about his penis. Meanwhile, uh, Titus found himself back in town eating what he called the best free meal of his life, 10 out of 10 woody ass lobster again. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's, that's what you missed if you, if you haven't watched part one of session nine yet. Um, I mean, they rushed to this part. Part nine, episode nine, part I two. I need to be up to yeah, date now. Yeah, they've watched now. that before. Yeah, bizarrely. And then they're like, oh, now you've ruined I should it probably watch, you spoiled it. For yeah, me. how do you get through other things? Like, like shows must be a nightmare yeah. navigating. Like you do Always think... start at the newest one episode yep. and then go backwards. Right, okay. Like, um... And then go, oh, that's how it would have worked out. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched this all badly. All the wrong way, exactly. <laughs> So viewer slash listener, we hope you've enjoyed the story so far. And if you wonder, where the hell's the podcast or the Switch stream or the, the show on YouTube? Well, it's coming back on October 19th. There you go. Um, and with a, with a for all. With a bang. Because Level ups. it's not just 10 episodes. No, it's going to be more like 13 or so. Wow. Lucky for some, hopefully not unlucky for us. Anyway, where were we? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Our adventurers wake after a wonderful night's sleep <gasps> and the perfect temperature and It's so cold oh. in here! <laughs> Abishel. Abishel, you awake on the floor of Master Flagon's lovely little shop. You've had a lovely night's sleep, quiet, magically insulated. It's just a really good place to have a nap. Your bedrolls were comfortable. The wood floor was insulated against bugs and pests and breezes and gusts and No wood and beetles to be seen. No beetles to be seen, much to the turtle's dismay, because I reckon he might like bugs. Um, yeah, it, felt, it certainly felt like a long rest. Would you say that it felt I'd like a long rest? certainly a long rest, that yes. It did feel like it a long felt like a long yeah. rest for a long time. Though. I would say that. Rejuvenating right. rest. rest. Mm. Recover your HP that and recover your just... spell slots. You silly little butt lobster muncher. How's wow. Ross's stomach Ooh. after, sorry, Titus's stomach after in, engorging a full do ass lobster? Do I need check. Oh. Not great. It's not bad either. You've got a real rumble of a tummy going on. You're thinking maybe next time you may be more careful when eating butt lobster. But equally, you haven't really learned much of a lesson. You've got risk it in you. You do. So you think maybe next time, when given the opportunity, you'll make a decision on the spot. I think I'll just cook it for longer next time. Boil oh, it really for longer. Really poops. Just okay. now. Did, I you, literally... did you hear them slop around? I did it in that corner. There's he no points over there. to what looks cool. like a um, cool. a very ornate vase, a large vase. Um, there was a powder and stuff in it, but I think it's all mulched down there. That's disgusting. Just <laughs> as you're talking about this, cling, yeah. cling, cling, Master Flagan walks through the front door looking refreshed and uh, ready to, for the day. Oh, good morning. Um, morning, my friends. Morning, Flaggy. May I call you a friend? Morning, Flagon. Are we friends? I pooped in that vase. Oh my God, that's my grandfather's ashes. Oh. <laughs> ashes. Oh, no. That's what the powder was. You have pooped in it. It was really wet, yeah. Oh, I I'm wonder what that lobster bisque smell was. I'm sorry, I'll I, I clear it. I'll clean it up. Mm, prestigitation clean. You're clean now. My grandfather's ashes. They've gone. They've gone. <laughs> he isn't going to need up. Yeah, I told you to clean up. Huh. He's been wiped away along with my poo. I don't know which is worse, poop covered ashes or no ashes. Why did you just keep him in an, in an open vase in the yeah, corner? Yeah, it's on you. On the floor. It looks you shouldn't have done like that. a toilet. No, you're Wait. right. Yes, it's my fault. You didn't tell us where the toilets were. Where are the toilets in this place? Yes. I can't navigate my way through. You make excellent, reasonable arguments. You put a pot in the corner. Yep. We make a of rational decision. Of course, a regular human being would just poo in the corner of, in, of a room like You've a dog. You've got to make a rational decision. I'm not going Sorry, I'm yes, not going no, you're, you're being very reasonable I here. I won't do it outside. You should tell us where the facilities are. Is it like are. a chamber pot? You just went to bed. You left us in here. 
I allowed you to sleep. Yeah, this is on you. Anyway, your granddad's resting somewhere else covered in shit. <laughs> Where does it go? I don't, I don't fully understand that. Where does this filth go? I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand man. half the stuff I can do. I can you, do a tidal wave out of nothing. You don't understand half the stuff you could do. Could do you think maybe you shouldn't do the spells? I could, don't... I could be in the middle of a desert and get a tidal wave out of nowhere. How does that happen? Do you know? No, I don't know. Well, I don't I think... start thinking about these things that As send you into wizard... a spiral. No one tells us this. Wizards have the no idea and ability to manipulate the fabric of reality. That's why we yeah. manipulate the fabric of what is real. Do you have, do you have the like fucking a master? fabric? <laughs> what they keep talking about There's that. There's no fabric. It's like a linen, it's a line, You don't get told how to do this stuff. No. There's books. You kind of <laughs> oh, trudge along. No hell. one knows what they're doing. Well, it's not true. Most of the wizards you, don't know what they're doing. You can't claim that most wizards most have wizards no idea what they're doing. Most wizards don't know what they're doing. They're reading the books and like, oh, I think I can try it. They give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If not, keep going. So you're saying natural talent is all that we can hope I'm for. I'm just saying, I didn't have a guide. Okay, well, you should. You should go to wizard school. I can recommend a few. They're about 6,000 miles away. <sighs> Already. Can't Hurdles. Be bothered. Hurdles. This is what happens when you're taught on the bottom of the sea. Yeah, this is. Useless place. Precisely, clearly. Stupid people. It's a nice I place. I hate seagoing folk. It's Why is it everyone there? racist? I hate it's, sea folk. It's quiet there. It's yeah. nice and peaceful. I can't guys, swim. guys, 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 I tried to interject. You can't swim. That's fair enough. Sorry, I can teach you. Flagging. I taught a guy earlier. Did you? Yeah, I taught him how to swim. He jumped off. <laughs> I think, I think he... No, he drowned. No, he did drown. Sorry. I can't teach you how to swim. Okay. What were you saying, Pee Pee? Uh, I was just going to try to just calm us down a little bit. Can we just focus on the uh, the lead at hand here? Um, obviously, we have a certain amount of lead in this room with us, right? What's now. in the workshop? We're in we're in the shop. In this room. It smells like shit. Right now, in the other room. And, the, the, uh, the shop is made of wood attached to the front. Mm -hmm. And the there's a stone workshop behind, but there is a door through. So why are you just focusing? You know, there's lead back there. There's lead. Yes. We bought it last night. Yep. Can we go through to it and make it into some money, please? Yes. When? Do you want to go now? Please. Let's go now. Thank you. Let's Good idea. Let's see what, Why waste the day? Why waste I want to see what's behind his like bar, his like you know his his his, his counter, through right. and leads you through back to some double doors out to the back of the workshop. You got any breakfast? <laughs> no, there's no fucking breakfast. Okay. There's, there's, there's no toilets. Yeah. Okay. Stop shitting in things and stop eating things at random. Where stop do you shitting in things? Where do you shit? Stop. Where? I go outside. Don't tell me you shit on the floor in prestigious. I shit in the beach. I dig a hole in the beach, do a poo in it, cover it back you up. You slept on that beach. I slept Sometimes on that beach. It was you that covered my shell in shit. No, no, that was the local children. They are awful for it. You can't oh. do that every time. How many times a day do you shit? Thrice. Thrice. You're going up and down the beach. You can tell. He, he shits like clockwork. He no, just got a routine. He does what every wizard does. You just clean it up with your wand. I press the digitation away. Of course you do. <laughs> I knew it. It's now, where does it fucking go? Now, where does it go? We don't know where it goes. I posit there's a poo realm. And then a plane of existence <laughs> a where plane a poo, of poo. and detritus goes. <laughs> Heavens to we never accidentally tread upon those lands. If I believe it's the ninth ring of hell. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> it's all poo. Yeah, it would make sense it's the ring of hell as well. Yes. Where all the Heavens shit ends up. Did anything spawns in that land. Oh boy, it's a poo monster. Oh God. Um, <laughs> in you go. Right, okay. Right, anyway, like I said, yesterday, <laughs> torches are lit. Right, so you see the, um, I'm gonna give my voice a rest from that super tight throat voice. <laughs> the conveyor belt is there and it begins to work. He's like, uh, he waves his hands and the um, rock elemental floats and forms uh, itself into, you know, you've got the floating torso, a sort of head of sorts and some floating arms and it starts to crank. Um, a, a crank on one end of the conveyor belt, which causes the belt to obviously rotate. I mean, I hope you can imagine that. It's a conveyor belt with two rollers, one at each end. If you turn one roller, it rolls the whole thing. Which way? I know. I know. Uh, it's rolling it anti-clockwise. And it's going, it's going that way. No, 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 no. So it stood right, on. Yeah. Needless to say, it will draw the conveyor belt. Uh, will go. One place. can draw to the other place. Left <laughs> to right or right. To the left. It's Where gonna are we go, it's stood? gonna take the Where left. Where we stood though. It's you're looking at the conveyor belt. Okay. Behind it is where the handle is on the right hand side. Yeah, so the okay. lead is gonna go from your left, camera left, left, to camera right. Okay. Okay. So we're watching it from here. Yeah, I see. Like you got it. You got it. it. From our angle it would be. It would yes, be. He's from, on the other from, side. From, the so he's elemental's the perspective, which is on the other side of the belt. Oh, so we're in his point of view now. It's going anti clock He's I'm rotating it anti-clockwise. <laughs> you're looking through the elemental's eyes. Okay. Plague, what are you doing to my mind? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the elemental is uh, working the conveyor belt, 
um, as Flagan walks around the back of the belt. Oh, oh, excuse you. I was trying to, I was trying yeah, to yeah, find Yeah, yeah, that kind of works. It's, it's cranking it and it's moving the conveyor. Flagan walks around behind the conveyor belt as well and steps up onto a small platform, uh, which puts him above the previously described prismatic gem, which is held in a metal um, arch above the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is 10 feet long, three feet wide. Um, he gestures towards one piece of lead. Right, I just need to check that everything's calibrated. He gestures towards a piece of lead on the pile of the wagon. It floats up and lands on one end of the conveyor. Um, he puts his hand out and on top of the prismatic gem and closes his eyes. As he focuses, the gem begins to glow. Oh, gentlemen, one thing before I start this proper. Please put on the protective goggles. I put over on that table over there. And he gestures behind you. And then behind you there are several forms of protective goggles. Oh, good. your ones look cool. Sword? Are these the right ones? They're perfect fit. Those are the right ones, yes. Oh, God, these think... shall protect your eyes from harmful arcane rays. I, uh, as the caster of the spell, am unaffected. But you, as the onlookers, may wish to protect yourself. You look divine. He puts his hand on the gem, concentrates, and the light within the gem begins to, to glow ever brighter, ever brighter, until all of a sudden the arcane energy leaps from the gem down onto the conveyor in a beam. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. A beam of about vision. a foot wide. <laughs> I can see everything yeah. clearly. <laughs> way too bright, way too bright. Uh, glows. Uh, the arcane energy um, glows with a reddish orange hue. It emits from the edge of the crystal um, and the conveyor pulls the lead towards it. As the lead enters the uh, area of the beam, the energy seems to uh, reduce the lead. So the lead begins to shrink um, and you, you can't see the lead for a moment as the energy of the beam itself engulfs the piece. However, as the conveyor belt continues to pull the lead through the beam on the other edge of the, of the, the wall of energy, comes out a smaller, about a quarter of the size, nugget of what looks like pure gold. Oh. It's working! Flagan ex uh, um, explains that as oh. the lead hits the arcane energy, the energy from the beam focused through this incredibly powerful crystal, wow. blasts the very atoms of the lead to change what? its composition to gold. It knocks various elements of, of, of atoms, it's more complicated than this, but essentially it rearranges it at a, a molecular level in what? order to create gold what? from lead. What's he talking about? And he so just changed lead into gold. Absolutely. This magic. is a transmutation. No, no, just you could that, just say magic. Just say that. Magic. It's magic. Oh, it's magic. It's magic. It is magic. magic. Now I understand. It is magic. Everything that's happening here is magical. Everything seems to be working. He takes his hand off of the gem and the, the, goal, the, the bright light recedes and the beam stops. Uh, he takes the gold nugget off of the belt, looks at it, seems good, brings it over to you to examine. Here we go. Can I give it a bite? Pure gold. Will it wow. dent if I bite it? Yeah, it should do. It's soft, soft enough. gold, isn't it? The metal is softer, as soft as lead. Oh yeah, it dented. It tastes metallic. Like it, well, it tastes kind of like lead. Oh wow. But if lead were now gold. Yeah, yeah What's yeah, actually yeah. happened is the beam is just painting this lead gold. You scratch it a little bit underneath, it's still lead. Oh really? This isn't really a transmutation, this is just a... Wait a sec. Do we know this? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, was ask, I was literally about to ask, <laughs> is this actual gold or a weird display? Sword um, knows as an artificer and a person who's worked metals before that this seems to be in every way real gold. I you take the gold nugget, I open up a little vial of clear liquid, I put it in and I shake it. What are you doing that for? It remains inert. Gold. Oh, I've got my own test. Can I take it out of there? Yeah, I suppose. I put it into my hands like this. I shake it. Yeah, it's still there. It's gold. Oh, it's, wow, actual, yes. it's actually there. Witchcraft. It's magic. How long is this going to take to, to transmute the rest of it then? He looks at the, the Hall of Gold. I should have the lot done within an hour. That's crazy. I you may swear. witness, stay and witness, or I you swear he said, said 30 minutes that, yesterday. Yeah, I, I heard the same I thing. I underestimated the amount of time this would take. Yeah. Well, that's underestimated. Well, well, I said under 30 minutes within an, within an hour. Within Fair an enough. hour. Within an hour. It's all going to be gold, right? Yeah. You're not going to come back and find silver because your other calculations have gone wrong. It's right? the inaccuracies I'm worried about. There may be silver in if the If he doesn't know what, how long it's going to take, what else is going to get wrong? 
Maybe we'll get our cut right. How long do you think it would take for you to get 400 a kilogram, 400 kilograms of lead into gold? Oh, How I long don't would it take know. you? Well, I can't do it. Well, we wouldn't. I've never tried to do that. Myself. Yeah, we wouldn't assume, you know, without the. I'm always saying this. The words you've said yesterday. Last night, you, if you weren't sure, you should have overestimated and say, "Oh, it's going to take two hours yeah. to transmute." Yeah, yeah. we will be like, "Oh, that's really quick." And then when you did it in an hour, we'll be like, "Whoa, look how quick you've done it." The thing is, you promised thirty minutes, yeah. and now you're telling us it's going to be an hour. You see how that's double the time for us now. And that's an, an hour just is psychologically, no it feels like hour hard. isn't the issue here. The issue is trust. It's trust, yeah. and it's we're the, trying to form a relationship. We're trying to here. form a trusting bond with you. We just. And want I don't know apology. if you're going to do other things. You, I mean, is our cut still secure? It's it's still secure. Half of that wagon will be yours in gold. Mm. And it's going to definitely get. Oh, I just to don't know. Kill. I don't know. Half, seventy-five percent, hundred percent. You what? don't know, do you? Why are you saying percentages? Because I don't know. I don't trust you. You don't trust I me? I don't trust you anymore. That That's half an hour makes a big difference. A twice, a 100% it, it, increase. I feel like we've built a, a, a bond over, over a long period of time for it to be shattered so quickly. I wonder oh, if... Let's go get a drink. Can I take the goggles off? Take the goggles off. Put them back on, quick! Oh, oh, put them back on, you're going to fly! Off. Was, Jesus! It was a test. That was a test. It was oh, just a test. You okay. can, you can take them off. I think this was built for gnomes. It already hurts the eyes. Look, let's get a drink. Let's he walks back over the jail. Now. Come back within the hour. I will have this little lot done for you as Do he places want... it on and it begins to glow again. Do we trust him enough mm. to leave? Like, is he definitely going to get... Like, what's what he, he going to do? What, what if he, he does it and he gets oh, 150... He doesn't, I'll tie away the shit. What if he gets 150 yeah. kilograms out of it and then tells us he's only got 100 kilograms out of it and then we only split that? Well, we oh, saw oh, the... I don't know who to trust anymore. We saw the size, right? The size shrink. It's about a uh, quarter All right. of what it was. What so, if I enlarge the gold for at least one minute, maximum one minute, that's all I can do, one minute. If I enlarge it for that time, does it increase the weight? I think it does, I know it does. But then our cut's going to be less. So then we need to sell it at the exact oh. 60 seconds to... The shit place. Almost quadruple our earnings, the 5,000 will, will turn well, into 20,000. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why didn't you just do that with the money we've already got? Oh, so we could have bought a ship for 60 seconds. We could have bought a ship like what? days ago. Well, I just, yeah, it would have been like novelty-sized coins, yeah, rather than nuggets. Wait, should we? Yeah, we've got the nuggets oh. now, so we'd have silly coins, and then we'd be like, "What's this? So What's this just, big?" And like, by the time it melts coin. down, it would have shrunk again. Yeah. All Sixty right. seconds is all we have. Is there a way we can game this? I feel. Let's go, <laughs> let's go get a drink and you think know, about you this. You know, like the meat vendors. Yeah. They're like they, they go and like, <laughs> auction, and they speed through it. I think it. they actually say words though. Do they? Yeah. I so think we have so. 60 seconds to get this giant pile of gold sold Fast. and handed over with the money transaction in our done. pockets. Wait, hang on. Are we selling Master Flagon, sir? Yes. Sorry, Flagon. Sorry, you were talking so much garbage. I kind of phased out. We're just trying to really figure out, <laughs> figure out how this works. Are you making gold for us to sell for coins, or are you going to make us gold coins to just take and buy things with? I can press them into the shape of coins, however they will not be minted with any particular space or... So we still or... need to sell this to the bank? You know, you know that like in this world, like gold, gold coins of many kinds exist. Many, you know, there are ones from different nations, there are mm. ones that have been from history, you know, like there are different weights. The, the thing you know is that really gold coins are done by weight, right? right? Some of them will be minted with certain faces, some are, are preferred over others because it's easier to identify what they are. But ultimately, as long as the person receiving them is sure that it is indeed gold they're receiving, they can weigh it. So are we just gonna, are we able to just use this gold to buy a ship with, or are we gonna have to... to I, will, I will provide you with pieces of gold, pieces in terms of pieces of eight, pieces of coin. I will press them into circular pieces can of gold. Can you press them into coins which are half the size of a normal coin, please? Yes. Thank you. Why would you want to do that? Are you sure you can pull this off like this? <laughs> Do we tell him? Does it make a difference if we tell him? He's probably done it before himself. Yeah. He looks sneaky. Tell him. All right, what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to get the gold coins. Now, I can make them big for exactly 60 seconds. Now, if we have a window of time, which is the 60 seconds, and we can sell them to someone. This is a good bit. Here we go. Or at least trade for something else. Within that 60 second period, before it shrinks back down to its regular pithy size, we may quadruple our earnings. I see what you're doing. I would wonder... Tell me you even thought about this. Who is it that's willing to do a deal of that magnitude 
within the window of 60 seconds. <laughs> if you were about to part with something worth thousands of gold, you'd probably want to make sure the deal was pretty fairly defined, right? Well, how I many mean, times have you spent thousands of gold in a matter of seconds? Well, can you do the magic trick, but for longer? Yeah, can you do it for longer? I you can maintain can the spell for longer, but How not... much longer? How many longer than 60 seconds? They can a few count. minutes. They can count it in a few minutes, minutes surely. A few minutes. That's a, that's a good point. They've got what to do you think, Sordor? Do you think it's a good idea, bad idea? What do you reckon? Can you, like, can you like do 60 seconds of like a chunk? And once he's counted that and yeah. it's out of sight, so we're gonna then you pay... do the next 60 seconds. Yeah, we're going to pay you in 100 rest, coins at a time. Yeah, and Count we, we enlarge it just before he starts counting it. He puts it into the bag. Let me tell you something. Yeah. This is a stupid idea. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, Master Brainiac. Why? You tell us a better way. Nobody is going to believe you. All you're going to do is end up ruining a deal you try to make, okay. and a person will feel deceived yeah, think or tricked it. And in this, on this island, you do not want to make enemies like that, because believe me, gold is a language everybody speaks. Right. I'll but more on. gold <laughs> he is... He stopped. He stopped. I swear there was going to be more gold. He just stopped. <laughs> more gold is more than less gold, though. That's the language that people understand. You know what I'm saying? If it's but By all means, give it a go! Give it a go! Oh, but Why do you think this will work? Why do you think this will work? You're, you're using large oh, goals for 60 the seconds! Idea. We're not saying we're necessarily going to do it. <coughs> Look, we're just entertaining the idea, but thinking about it, guys. What if we make all three We already big? have... Uh, oh. What if we shrunk the person that's receiving it so it yeah. looks like they got massive coins? They've got one minute to decide how big the part... It, yes. <laughs> do you know... <laughs> yes. have, you, have you ever heard of a shoehorn? Is it like a, some sort of instrument? It's oh. a horn for forcing your feet into a shoe. Yes. Oh, Fitting your bigger feet okay. into a smaller Do you feel shoe. you may be trying to shoehorn a spell into a particular situation that yes. may or may not work? It might work. be, yeah. It's precisely what it, we're guys, trying to do. We already have a guaranteed 35% discount on the ship. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's true. So maybe we just buy the ship with the money. We're going to have loads of money left over. Maybe we don't take the risk because we might mess up this discount. Are you suggesting we do a regular transaction? It's strange for me because I like to try and, you know, bargain my way out of things yeah. and we all do that and, you know, not pay people with food and whatever. But maybe in this case, maybe Master Flagon's right. Maybe he's right. Maybe we just take the discount and not mess up this. Because say it goes wrong, I'm not saying it will, but say it goes wrong, we're then going to have to buy a ship at full price. We might actually just go to jail. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's that an option. option. Yeah. yeah. We I might get, you know, yeah, criminalised and stuff and ousted like, from like, the island altogether. Yeah. There is that. Mm. So, I can't, mm. so, should we just take... We're going to leave you to it. You still want the coins half size or... Just regular, regular, regular size. size. Regular coins? Yeah. Mm. Very good. Sorry for wasting a good Does chunk it matter what face is on them? I won't put a face on them. Can you put my Why? face on them? Put my face on them. You want no, me to mine. put your face Can on Can I at least them? have one coin All with three of face our faces yeah, split in, Mixed in, amounts? In, into two thirds. Uh, yeah, so a try of our, each of our faces. See. Okay. And can I get one? Will that increase or lower the value? Can I get one on a chain around my neck? Just have my own little face on the coin. You can take a coin and find a chain and put it on. Yes. You, no, I need it with a little hole in it though, if you can do that. A little hole punch. So can... You can't punch a hole in a piece of gold? Oh, no, you can't. But, no, no, what, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then we lose that gold. If you can just shape it that way for that the, those few coins. See you, must play again. We'll be back. Right, we'll see you in an hour. See you yeah. in an hour. Let's go. Hours work instead of like going down to the mines. All <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the blazing bright light emanates from the gem. Fuck dark vision in certain Jesus. situations. I can see everything. Extra bright. You said about going to jail. Yeah. There's, there's no law on this island. Oh, well, yeah, you know, you're, you're not wrong, but we would be hated by everybody we and would. unlikely to make a regular transaction again. Thank you, you're just convincing me that that was the right choice. That's good, that's good. Sorry, I had, to, I had cold feet then. But... You guys want to go to a brothel or go get some beers? Wandering crab? We can wander into the crab. Uh, I don't know, clientele is not my... Well, uh, the beds are all crusty. They were, yeah, and I've got to be careful. Be, I can only choose one for. one person to do that with in my lifetime, and, th and then my, life. then I die. That's true, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think of that. God, yeah, yeah that's. 
<laughs> but you guys, if you want to enjoy yourself, but I'll probably just go down to Turtle Bay and try and get another. Yeah, let's have a, oh, let's have a beer and a, let's have a beer. Beer and a turtle. Beer and a turtle. Beer and a, beer and a baby turtle just to uh, celebrate. Uh, he'll he'll song song baby turtle. Turtle. He'll have heard the song from the other night. He'll the song from the other night and he loves this. Just to kill the mm. hour. Yeah. Okay, you, you head down to the Turtle Bay and um, at the front, at the little host desk, you see your half elf friend from the previous time. Ah, uh, gentlemen, welcome back to the Turtle Bay. Sticky Mickey, it is uh, a pleasure to <laughs> see you again. What did you think again. of that show the other night, eh? Oh, mwah, magnifique. If only I didn't get bitten by one of the many spiders that were chucked onto the crowd by yeah. the man that was juggling the buckets of spiders. Well, it would have been a perfect night. Nothing to do with us, I'm afraid. No, I do not blame you. May I seat you? Sorry? Could you walk? In this place? I thought you served food all here. These people. There's public I thought you served food here. This is disgusting. We just want to sit down and have some food, We please. want to sit somewhere. I, we, I, I will sit you. You will do what to me? Sit, you. This is not the wandering crab, sir. Sit. What? Sit. Oh, may I, I just want a turtle. May I sit you? Three oh, point small to a table. turtles, Point please. to a table. May I sit you? Stop it. Oh, I please, I just want to sit guy. you. <laughs> I can't. I don't. I, if I've there was so an authority offended. here, I would be calling a I'm so right now. hungry. Why? Why? Don't this we'll we'll just sit sit down somewhere, please. Well, Thank why? you. Why don't you just sit us down? You yes. Come, I will seat you. Oh, finally, no, we just want to sit down. Oh. Just take us there. Okay, this Can't is a. Uh, anything. You want a booth? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> In oh. where? A booth. I've never, <laughs> never? been so humiliated. May I see you in a booth? Against my will. Royalty. I can't Under the sea. You. And I'm famous. Yeah. <laughs> you are. I am a huge fan. I wear a crown. You can't say fun. that. What? Well, I have and not seen your crown. You've not seen my crown? No. It's basically strapped to my head. Is it? Yeah. There's a big it's jewel nice. in the middle. It's, yeah. Is there? Oh, there is. Yes. The uh, yeah. headband. Yes. Well, let me see you in the booth. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I will see you. Can we just yes? sit in a booth, please? Uh, okay. Sit down. In the booth. I'm well, gonna... I'm gonna sit over there in that booth. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm and you undressed. think about what you said today. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Look, I'm just going with it. I'm sick of the waiting. Put your gloves back just... on. Put your gloves back on. Oh. <laughs> Fine. I'm oh. sorry, everyone. I'm just trying to see these men. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Keep your heads down, boys. He's telling people now. Wait, Three. what do you want? Turtle. Three small turtles. Back, veal of the sea, please. Toi, turtle. You want the uh, baby or you want big? Veal of the sea. Two, the smallest. Three, three one babies, baby. The youngest. Yeah. Very maybe. small baby. Anything Thank without you. life experience is good. An even smaller baby. Sure. Mm. Okay, Leclerc. Leclerc is the name of the chef. Is he? Leclerc. Give them some. They were three babas. Toi, baba. And he believes <laughs> this guy. Wait, no, 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 no. They don't need the. Uh, they don't need the shakes this time. No. You want you want the drinks? Oh, we got what time. do you want to drink? No, we, we got, got time. time. Drinks. You want beer? <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Un, two, trois, beer. What did you call me? <laughs> a toi. Can't yeah, talk. A bit of a toi. Right, yeah. We've got this under control. Are your seats comfortable? Look, we just want three beers. We. <laughs> no food. Oh, oh, no, 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 with the food. Well, you just said you just want three beers. Want three beers and the turtles, please. Three beers, no more fucking lit. Getting a stress headache. Oui, I shall have them for you a momentarily. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't work. Oh, <laughs> triangular uh, Christ. <clears throat> you see him shuffle off into the kitchen. He's on one today, isn't he? That he's on something. Right. He must have had that snifter stuff that Roger had. How did you know he had that? I saw it in his hand. Oh, was he still he sniffing? He was on the floor. Oh, I thought he'd finished it. He had a lot. You were sniffing it. I had a sniff. It's like a pungent odour in the air. Yeah, it makes your butt already big. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just like yeah, they call it the, the, the dilating blowhole. It's a blowhole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Blow for sure. Blow. So here it is, and he comes back. He's put all three delicious mm, smelling yummy, bowls yummy, of, yummy. of turtle stew. Puts them down. It's a, served in the turtle shell. On the inside you have the familiar broth. Wonderful. Thick and oh. fragrant. With uh, lovely, oh, lovely, lovely. garlic and ginger, uh, a little bit of coconut milk, strips of bamboo, and big chunks of white meat oh, yes. floating in Wait it. Wait a fucking second. This looks just like a 
pee pee. We've been over this. This one looks just like him. No. Look at his face. He's got his smile. And Look at his little face. Say this. Look. And they've left oh the head on one. I mean, I mean, it looks I, just like you. Like you know. That is uncanny. I'll give you that. But uh, that's worrying. I'm a turtle. That's a turtle. Can't be the same. Oh, I don't know if I can eat this now. <laughs> Do you eat the head? I've gone for the head. It's it's crunchy, but mm. like not unappetizing. It's fine. The skull is nice and soft. Mm, nice. Yeah. Oh. This How has well, been, has been these, these baby turtles? Uh, I believe it is a uh, 21 days matured. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah, you can Have you ever gone younger? <laughs> we, but the, the, there is such little meat, it is barely worth the time. Yeah, but it tastes great though. Yeah, it's younger, delicacy. The, younger the better. It's hard. <laughs> it is harder to distinguish, uh, really. It's not worth it. You really? want, uh, the, there is a sweet spot uh, right underneath the asshole. No, I mean in terms of time and underneath the asshole. Uh, it is uh, like a little bit of meat. Just here? Yeah, just underneath the asshole there. Have you popped that out? Oop. Whoa. They call it the devil's candy. Because... Uh, cool, that tastes like you're eating a lot more than what was there. That's, it really fills, fills the mouth, doesn't the, it? The, oh, it? It is the turtle's prostate. Yeah. Oh. So I guess the younger they are, the less used that is. So it would have less less uh, flavor. Uh, contamination. Is that the right word? No, I wouldn't say I that not when know. talking about I come food. from an imaginary place where we have an accent like this and apparent abundance of vocabulary in your common tongue. What do you say? Common tongue. Can we just eat our food? You stop with Sorry, the insults, yes, no, I, I'm a big fan. I just over talk sometimes. It is sticky Mickey. I like to spend as much time as humanly possible. Uh, with him. I'm already halfway through the Turtle Bay song, by the way. Oh, I cannot I've wait got, to hear I've it. I've got the intro done. Do you want to hear it? We. Oui. You like that? That's how it's going to start. Oh, it stops there. It, at the moment, yeah. We've been very busy. We've been up in the mines. Haven't you oh. shown him that bit already? No, Was his, that a different song? That was a different song. Oh. I am very sad Why that you, you have not continued this story. You have had much time. I give you a great deal. A I let you days. run away. I let you leave my restaurant last time without paying, even though one of you tried to frame us for food poisoning. Remember that? Oh, you forget so easily. Oh, did like you forget to finish my song? No Sticky what. Mickey, I am a fan, but I can only be pushed so far. What Before sudden, I was that the spitting the in your meal. the sudden change? I was spitting I your meal. I told meals. you I've started on so spitting in my meal. Ah, you got it right in the face. The reason it's taken me so long is because I'm taking so much care with it. Do you hear the finesse in that intro? That is like no other intro to a song. It is when just a drum fill. I know what that sounds like. To the common ear, it's just a drum fill. Are you saying I have common ears? No. Don't you say my ears? I'm half elf. I've got a little point. You know, it's just sort of strange. Half elf. Half elf. I am half elf. Half elf. Half elf. Half. Half elf. Half elf. Half. 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 Uh, well, I just, hopeless. Can we just eat in peace and pay? Sorry, like, yes. Uh, enjoy your tetel. Look there! Our guests are hungry! He says, wandering back to the kitchen. I like that guy. He's nice, isn't he? He's all right, isn't he? Yeah, I want to meet Claire. Why? What well, a good chef. Sounds like a good chef. You want to send compliments? I want to send compliments to the chef. Nice. Why? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm back. Oh, well, that was before I even called That's you. the level of service we provide Thank here. Thank you. It is. Can can you uh, just bring Leclerc out, please? Okay, Leclerc! And out waddles Leclerc. Hello, Leclerc. Who is a really fat loblin. May I call you Charles? No? Uh, we'd yes. just like to say this food has been absolutely divine. Exquisite. Exquisite. Oh, he claps his there. little claws together in happiness. He's clicking. I am very happy, thank you. And we just want to say, all together, after three, one, two, three. Compliments oh, to the chef. chef. That's me. Wow. That's you. Compliments to you. Nice one. Sir. You did good. Do you like the, the baby turtle? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I cut the turtle's heads. You did. Oh, you <laughs> you oh. went there live. Uh, you missed one oh, of them. Oh, yes. that's nice. You missed one of the heads. I had to. He, I went yeah, off. he missed one, but it's fine. Oh, it's that one more. slipped through the net. Yeah, I got it. Excuse the pun. Oh, the skull. <laughs> He's Very a funny skull. one, too. Yeah. Wow. you got a lot going for you. I do, and I have a lot of cooking in the kitchen, so if you'll excuse me. There, there he goes. goes, there he goes. Thank you, Lisa. Lovely bow. And he waddles back. God. Nice. <sighs> but a little bit extra. This is the half elf talking again. 
you can eat the chef. <laughs> I'm kidding, we do not eat them. Some people eat them, we do not eat them. We mainly eat young turtles. I push my bowl forward. Pretty fucking rude. I'm sorry. Right I guess there. there's no chance of a tip anymore. Hell no. You Is spat, that it? You literally spat in my food. I, think I that... didn't spit in your food, I spit on the floor. I uh, mind spitting in your food. Uh, it looked it's, pretty authentic. It's, yeah, it's the, it's the action of it. You shouldn't really, like, if anything, he should probably have his for free. You well, are very entitled. We'll pay for you the You are other. all very entitled people. The Why did you earn yeah, such entitlement? The customer's always right. If no, 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 that's not true here. We have a customer. The guy that eats the turtle pays the bill. That is what we say here. We do not say the it, customer it is always says right. That in a plastic just there. There, just eat a turtle, oh. pay the bill. It's just a clash oh, of cultures yeah. at the moment. You think the turtles are free? You think the turtles catch themselves? You think the turtles come up the beach and go, hello, I'd like to be made into a delicious stew. No, they do not. We have to convince them. And then they come in. Oh, all right. right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, very persuasive. Okay. okay. Fair enough. All right, we'll leave you to it and we'll do what we do, which is eat and then pay. Good. That's what everyone should do. Yeah. That's what Although we... I still think he should be on the house. Why? Because he's spat in his food. I did not spit in his food. I mind spitting in, in his food. food. We've been through this. It was miming. A mind. Okay. Well, do you think if we mimed paying the bill, that would be acceptable? No. Exactly. So me miming spitting in his stew is not acceptable. You'd rather me spit properly. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that the I can do that if you like sticky Mickey. Spitty Mickey. Pain in the ass, Mickey. Oh, wow. Like, I've had a bad day, all right? I've had a bad day. I chuck, the I chuck away whatever that is. It's making a noise. Sorry. It's, it's, it's in the morning. It's like barely... Uh, you've just opened. What's happened? More, I am a, another morning person. Oh, he's a grumpy morning uh, person. I drank uh, like 18 bottles of wine last night. Right. Oh, That's right. what. The load of wine. A lot. Yeah. But for half elf, it barely touches the sides. And then I do four hours of meditation. I'm fine. Half elf. You haven't even slept? No, I meditate. I think about things like how fucking drunk I am. A lot of contemplation time. It is a fair bit. Clearly doesn't work. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> that felt like a veil insult, a poly veil insult, may I say. Oh, you're eating it now. <laughs> it's not full of speed. Oh, good, good, good. You. What yeah. are you eating? Oh, I'm uh, <laughs> sorry. Mm. Good. Oh. Okay, I'll oh, be nice. back. Mine's, mine's, mine's cold now. I send it? Oh, it's probably because you've been bitching for so long, Sticky Mickey. So maybe you just eat your fucking stew and I go back to the kitchen and we just, you know... All right, you go back to the kitchen. Yes. God, I don't know how favorable. I'm going to write that song now. Yeah, I heard that. I am... I am... You were supposed to go back to the kitchen. I can hear... How do you think I knew they were going to ask for me earlier? Sorry, I heard about you think. his ears. It's He's special. listening, isn't he? He's like, if you don't... If you don't make that song good, Sticky Mickey, I will send the big shark people after you, and they will, they will, they will fight you, and they will break your turtle bones, and I will turn you into a stew. I'll make it very favourable. I have one more question before we leave. Yes. Are we allowed to bring our own food in here and eat it? Well, we do B Y O B L. Bring your own lobster. Bring your own butt lobster. Okay. What I have it's is quite a popular. It's quite a popular. Uh, Policy. We have a couple of doggy bags from last time we were here and we've not had a chance to eat them yet. Yeah. Is it okay if we eat them here? Yeah, we can eat them up for you if you like. You, I don't no, want no, to, we don't want to eat, eat them. We want to eat them. No, no we'll eat them. What? No, no, we no, want no. to eat them. I don't know why. Are you going to have them cold? No, we want no, them we heated want, up. We want them heated up. Yeah, we want to eat good. them up for you. No, we want to eat them up. Just this take, just take them going anywhere. Can you heat these up and bring them back? Okay, I'll take these back. We eat them for you, yeah? Just heat them, yeah. like. The heating part. Take some in. Uh, Leclerc, I hope you're hungry. Uh, Wait a sec. <laughs> Can we eat them? God, how many different forms of this joke? Ten minutes later, he comes back. <laughs> oh, I'm so full. Thank you for that. What? <laughs> I told you we were going to eat them. No, we asked you to heat them. Oh, heat. Yes. Yes. Heat them. Heat. Heat. So I miss Earl. I thought you said eat. I thought oh, it, my God. you should enunciate more. So we've now lost those. It's turtles. heat with a hard H. Have we now wow. lost those? those, those, those no, 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 they're not lost. They're in my belly. Yeah, they're we here. Were gonna, they were our food. We bought them X in. X marks the spot. Turtles. We turtles. paid for that. We bought them in with us. No, you didn't pay for that, actually. No, <laughs> but they were a gift, so they're effectively ours. Right. And then we bought them in, and now you've taken them from us without anything in exchange. So if anything, Correct. we should have these meals for free in exchange for that. Okay. 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 Another free meal, well, boys. Yeah. It's got to be the hour done, surely, will it? God, God it's beyond the hour. It's been two hours. Wow, been okay, you need to pay for these. No, we just said we're going to have them. We will pay for the drinks only. Did you have drinks? I assume there will be drinks. I finish off the last of the beer. No. <laughs> we didn't have drinks. <laughs> we did the, not. These are in exchange for those doggy bags you just took from us. 
We have paid for them with food. All right, the drinks in exchange for the doggy bags? No, 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 the, the turtles. Because it was like for like. We had baby, oh, we had veal of the sea in those doggy bags. That's expensive. Yeah, but you gave them to us previously and then you just ate them from us when we said heat them up. And is he Sticky Mickey? He used to be a fan. <laughs> it seems now that you seek to only swindle me and I'm Honest not Leclerc. Swindling. A very honest Leclerc in the kitchen. He had a nice meal a minute ago. You, you give him a meal. He's very thankful. He says, you say, compliments to the chef and then you bring him a good meal and he says, oh, thank you. They show their appreciation for me. And then you come in and now you say you want free meals too? I do not understand. How is this happening? This feels like me? there's a big misunderstanding going Sticky on. Mickey, here I think that the way times. to solve this understanding is for you to reach inside your pockets, Sticky Mickey, and give me the money that you are required to pay me for I'm, the turtle. I'm going to walk out. Not this I'm, again. I'm leaving. You don't like, where are you going? Go? Yeah, completely honestly, you created this mess, and uh, we'll see you out at Flagans, alright? created this mess, he just took our, our Sticky food. Sticky Mickey! How much? He says, uh, patting his. How much? Sticky Mickey, I require from you five gold. Five gold. Okay. How come last time you were charging us hundreds for these? Uh, I saw an easy mark. Okay, so we were right to get them for five gold, <laughs> you say? <laughs> yes, five what gold. What if I play you a little bit more of the song I've written? Yeah, go on then. What's your name, sorry? What's my name? Yeah. Do you know for me to find out? Well, well I don't know. <laughs> you know I know. And I can't find out. <laughs> Okay. I guess with an impasse, you can call me Charles. Charles. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to sing a song about you, Charles, and Leclerc in the kitchen. Yes. Okay. This is just a, just a rough draft. Total Bay is where it's at. Leclerc in the back making Veal of the Sea. Veal of the sea, shot out front, trying to sell people turtles, sitting them down, eating all the turtles that Charles brings from the back where Leclerc is. It's Turtle Bay. That's where I'm at. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Okay, one gold. One gold. Thank you. You get this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, we'll be on our way. <laughs> We're already out the door. We're already there. <laughs> you really like it? Thank you. Really Charles. Poor Charles knows what's going on. Ah, shit! <laughs> it happened again! Leclerc, we are broke! This is it, man. This is our last week. I think <laughs> I, I, I spent all the budget last night on wine, and now I'm, I keep on getting, um, how do you say, uh, duped. Ah, oh, Leclerc, what will we do? Our dream of opening Turtle Bay. It is falling apart because I am a drunk alcoholic. Both things are the same thing, I suppose. <laughs> I need some wine. I'm such a caricature. <laughs> I need a cigarette. <laughs> right, you walk out on the main <laughs> There you go, guys. I refuse to pay for a meal. <laughs> nice. He nice. doesn't pay. I don't know how you do it every time. Wherever he goes. In fact, he paid me a gold. He paid you? He paid me a gold. Oh my goodness, that is impressive. Anyway. I almost feel bad. Almost. Almost. That's yeah. unlike you. I know. I'm starting to feel feelings. I'm feeling gold. I can <laughs> smell it. Nice. Oh, am I bleeding? No, no, I can smell it. <laughs> An hour yeah. has passed as you walk back into the workshop of Master Flagan. Flagan! An hour has passed! Flagan, open these doors, Flagan! We demand our gold! The Come out here, Flagan, you <laughs> scum! <laughs> the door also... Oh, you lot! Oh, hey, Flagan. Thought it was a town watch again. Sorry, oh, hey, Flagan. Was, you always get people's attention like this. It's easier. It does seem to get people's attention you came pretty, here fast. pretty quick. It's yeah. really quick. awkward when you knock on the door and no one answers yes. and then they hear it eventually. So we just, you've got to go. So your go-to is, come out here, you scum. That, and you, well, here you are. I'm here. Anyway, how I you doing, mate? I'm here. Can't, Good. Can't deny it. Can't argue with success. Yeah. How's the lead stuff going? It's good. Great, it's all done. Yes, oh, it's all done. No nice. Sweet. Yeah, coming in. And wow. then you come in and uh, there's an elemental who's just stacking the last bits of um, gold coin. They're in tall, wrapped bundles of, of, of ten. Um, they've wrapped them in paper for you and they're all stacked up on a little wheeled pallet with walls to keep them in. Here we go. As promised, four and a half thousand gold. Fantastic. Whoa. Four and a half thousand. I, was, I swear it was five. I'm sure it was five yeah. as well. 99.99% sure. I'm 100%. Well, that's even better. What happens to that extra 500? What? You said 5,000. 50, yesterday. 50. The same uh, time that you said it would take half an hour. 
So it's taken twice as long, and we've lost 500 somewhere. What happened, Flagan, mate? I must have been a miscalculation. That's impossible. Oh, we'll just put the 500 in then. Yeah, you just put, yeah, put the 500 anymore. in, we'll call just it even. Gone. <laughs> well, Where's it gone? Done. I spent it on what? What did you spend it on? You spent it. I gambled it away. Oh, you're a gambler. Ow, I house. gambled it away. You're in your shop. It only took me 30 minutes, and in the 30 minutes time that you were still eating turtle, I went round to the pub and gambled away five and a half you're thousand dollars. You're right, I'm going to grab him by the scruff. No! And lift him up. Woo! You're going to give us that fucking 500 gold, or I'm going to feed you to your own stone golem. Up his ass. Oh, it's got an ass as well. For some no, reason, no, I, decided I, to give it. It. I decided to give it an ass. I'm going to shove you right I up there. I think that was a mistake. God. I will shrink you and stomp no, on you like a small. cockroach. <laughs> But what okay. are you going to do okay. to him? Okay, wait. <laughs> Don't tell me what the turtle's going to do to me. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do to you. Oh, it's even more scared, sinister. right? No, he's really sinister. <laughs> I throw up against them. Uh, despite being a wizard of immense power, I am for some reason in your thrall. Okay, <laughs> I took the 500 for compensation after you shit in my grandfather's urn. That's oh, for God's sake. You're not going to buy a new disgusting. one, are you? I could That's buy a new course. grandfather for 500 gold. How? I'll pay you 500 to be my grandfather for a week. Which of you is taking it? To do what, sir? That one. Yeah, I'll 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 do it. What, you're going to pay his grandfather? Granny? Yeah. He's, I'm paying you 500 to be my grandfather for a week to prove a point. Why? Well, put the, give us the 500 There's a part of me that wants to watch this. Okay, here's the 500. Oh, yes. Okay. And here's the four and a half. And he wow. points to the trundling Do you want to just count it with your servant? Yeah, I'm going to swear. Hang on. What am I slapping down here? Um, let me get my unseen servant to count this. So, you'll be back here tomorrow? For a week of grandfather work, yes? Uh, yeah. Grandfather or work. Or it could be like your actual grandfather, who was never there for you. Oh dear God, how do you oh, know? Oh, the realistic one. Yeah, was that because he was dead? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Who was there? He was in the corner of the room in an urn. Yeah. yeah he was, yeah. And now That's he's the not. only time he's ever been near you, isn't now, he? I'll tell you what, a part of me felt like he was there when I was... Like him? Emptying no! my guts. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was emptying my guts, I felt a spiritual enlightening. Like that Sirius in the fire in Harry Potter. The shade <laughs> space was in the ashes. What? Moving and contorting <laughs> as slops of shit landed on his face. Um, <laughs> Rancid what? lobster bisque. Oh no! <laughs> What's this, Flagan? <laughs> I did wonder why the urn was talking to me. saying, oh no, <laughs> he's shit shitting on my on face. <laughs> well, I must continue you follow bastard. through. I had some dodgy butt lobster. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's cleaned up now. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a glorious week. You're going to have a great time. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We I'll can chill by. here for a week. There's yeah. plenty of fun to be had at the, the I'll do Dusty that. Crab, sure. or whatever we called it. Wandering Crab. The Wandering Crab. The Wandering Crab. Wandering crab. I've only exhausted one room in that building. One of the worst brothels in town as well. There's more brothels. There's loads of more Name brothels. Name three. We've got the Wandering Crab, the right. Itchy Crotch. Itchy Crotch. The Dubious Rash. Dubious Rash. And I the Manky Dick. Of- Manky Dick? Yeah, sorry, Moby Dick. Oh, the Moby Dick. Oh, I didn't realise that was in Gold Tooth. Yeah, they're famous, Moby Dick. Oh, shit. I'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah that one must be That's franchised. Plenty. That's going to take ages to get They've got a big those. tank in the middle with a very lusty whale. Oh, oh, okay. You pay a big prize and you can jump into the middle of the thing and the, the whale just... How much? Right, okay. I'm looking at my 500 gold. <laughs> How much will that be? About 500 gold. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, we... Granddaddy's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> Right, before you become his, a grandfather slave, we need to buy a ship. Before we do that... Well, hang on, what? For 500, I'll be your grandmother for a week. Jesus Christ, what is this? I don't need a grandfather. What about a great-grandfather? Great-great-grandfather. I'll be his dad. <laughs> I'll be his this dad. This grandfather roleplay is really getting out of... No, I only need a grandfather. I've hired him. Take your wealth. Sword. For 500. This is bizarre. Like <laughs> what are you doing with all this money anyway? I, what do you want the grandfather for? Well, because you pooed on mine. But what does that mean? What does it matter that I shat on him? It was sentimental. So you want him to be in the corner? Inside a vase? No, I want yeah, him to do cheap stuff. Bars. I want to do fun grandfather stuff. Oh, you want me a, like a living grandfather? Yes! Not urn grandfather. No! A week. Though it was called urn. It's strange that you mention it. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Can it's we just go get a ship first? We're going to go take a ship. You're not going to take ship somewhere, right? I'm going to buy a ship. Oh, no. Wow! All the ship talk has got me what hungry for a ship. Gold's for? Oh, cover my grandfather's face in shit. I covered your grandfather's face in shit, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, you know. I had a troubling stomach from butt lobster. <laughs> <laughs> you must understand this. You live around here, butt lobsters I, are common. I know to avoid the butt lobster. Yeah, it was the good. The butt lobster bisque. 
I'm, yeah. A BLB. I, I cooked the <laughs> butt off some bisque. I'll say, what that we like for lunch? God, it's got me hungry again. And we've just eaten. Just eaten? We've just eaten some, lob, uh, some, some turtles. Breakfast turtle? Breakfast turtle, smaller. Mm. I had the head. It, it wasn't supposed to be on there. It was soft. That's going to do something to your stomach? Oh, God. No wonder you're shitting it out. Where are the vases at? <laughs> Don't no. shit in anything else. Anyway, this is None of these hilarious. are toilets. Flagan, this has been hilarious. We need to go and get a ship sorted. And then he's going to come back and role play as your grandfather for a week. Yeah, long. I'll probably turn up late. I'll probably be wandering in a field somewhere and you have to call yeah. out like a, a, a watch party or something. It's like, oh, he's gone. Gone walkies again. Oh, you've, yeah. you've wet yourself already. I've also just shit myself right, as well. Okay. Yeah. Role playing. Yeah, yeah, this is so real. Yeah. Real, real cool. Cool. Granddaddy earned his back. What does your grandfather already. like to do the most? Shit his pants. Brilliant. Yep, I'm in character. As long as you can be content with that for a week long. No, no, in content. In content, of course. In Incontinent, that's yeah. it. Continent. For free, can I come and be your sibling for a week? Because I just really want to see this. This is odd. You can be my sibling for a bit, yes? Yeah, sure. Yes. Sword, you're a grandfather. Flagan, do you not have anything better to do? Not really. I can make gold. From I know you can make gold, but like, and then what? This I'm is how you're spending Richmond. your life? You're trying to get this, this monstrosity to be your grandfather? Hello. This is absurd! Grandson. I will not be happy until I get to roleplay as your mother. <laughs> Look, if you can get some big old... Do you know rooms, what? I can! Can you get that done? I can certainly make it look... I can transmute you! I can transmogrify you! Yes. I could turn you into anything, but I'm going to turn you into a busty picture of my mother. Oh, I think that sounds fantastic. It'll be a great week. You go by the ship. Yes. I'll see you soon. Okay. Um, really looking forward to it. Me too. Oh, so am I. Where's yes. my bloody apprentice? Mankey. The manky one. Oh. I have no idea. I'm He was him. down at the dock. He was unloading something for me. Oh, no. Was he, d he didn't go like swimming, did he? I haven't seen him for a few days. Does he know how to swim? Does it, can no. he swim? Oh, God. Uh. Wait, no. I think I may have seen mm -hmm. him. I may have seen him staring blankly at some rocks on the that floor. That sounds like him. He'll be he back. was talking to the rocks oh. as if they were his friends. I thought nothing of it. And Good. wandered past with no other words said. Don't worry, grandson. Sh shit, we need the ship. Don't come to Let's go. Let's go. Not back See up. you later. See you later. Sibling, brother. Okay. Good afternoon. Come on, mummy Morning. and granddad. Have a good day. <laughs> right. Huh? Have a good day. Good. Yes. <laughs> Bye. B -b -b Bye. Bye. There's something. Close the door. Okay. I don't know why you agreed. A lot it seems to why be did unraveling. You agree to that? Well, it's 500 gold, isn't it? There is. Something I've done worse for a really week. wrong with Flagan. And I think we're only going to discover it in the next week. I think it's week. going to get worse in this next week. This to be week is going to be painful and strange. Yeah, it'll be all right. We're going to discover some new things about the man who gave us all the gold. I'm just going to make his life such a living hell. He's going to bail out on the whole deal early on. Right. And I'll keep the 500 gold. That's it's my plan. a good plan. plan. We'll see how it plays out. He's a wizard. Oh boy, if grandfather! Not. I can't wait. There isn't anything you could do to make me not happy about that situation. Nothing at all. Impossible. You hear that? All right, let's get the, the ship. Yeah, before then we get down there, how much we'll money back. have we actually got now all together? Uh, uh, let's have a look. Let's, yeah, I mean, yeah. So I'll, we did get 5,000 okay. then, right, in total? The unseen servant, because the calendar said 5,000, including the 500 for the roleplay grandfather. <laughs> right, and um, then I got So going 5, through. Going through, you, um... These are just fun props. Oh, it's about 12k what now. What was the one you just had? Huh? You added one then. Because you got you, your gold. I've already added it on my one because I thought it was oh. just pocket money. It is. But I can, can Strange pieces. Wow! Minted with many different designs. Oh. Um, Amazing. There's a mask of face. face with a hole in it. There it is. Has anyone got a, ch a, a chain? Amazing. I want to wear it. Just like that with my face on it. God, they look real, don't they? They certainly do look real. Let's take this to the shipwrights. Yeah, yeah, we'll get so a how, mu that. how much have we got in total? Uh, looking at it, Unseen Servant is just giving me some fingers here. 12,616. I 12, can contribute 16 yeah. to that if that makes a difference. Not at all. Okay. Let's go. I've got two silver. Save that for a chain or something. All right. 12, 6, eh? That's quite a handsome amount, isn't it? Head to the dock. Okay. But also hide the money because. Yeah, let's robbers. slap it in that hole. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. As you approach the shipwright, uh, you see out the front of the shipwright two figures you recognize having a conversation. One is Amira Oakheart, the very tall, uh, female furbolg, tall, 
Broad, she wears a brown leather apron over a green rough spun shirt and tough long trousers. A wooden mallet in one hand and shavings of wood littered about her person. She speaks to Goyo, the uh, frog-like man who you met uh, when you first made Doc at uh, Goldtooth Isle. Uh, look at that. He's probably negotiating our 35% discount right now. Mm. Oh yes, <laughs> he's speaking, you overhear him. Yes, oh, oh. We, we, we would like to <laughs> uh, take advantage of some of the famous. <laughs> you, um, uh, you, we, we, we've done you in the past. <laughs> and uh, me was like, okay, yes, I will help how I can. What may I extend to you, my friend Officiate Goyo? And, oh, uh, a uh, 30% discount would, I believe, be agreeable. <laughs> what? Oh, supposed to be 30 Oh, my friends, he snows you. Come over here. <laughs> I'm uh, negotiating your discount now. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hey. Did you like the performance hey, the other I think night? I heard you giggle the wrong number. Amiria, this is uh, Titus uh, Sword and Kapipi. <laughs> Sticky Mickey. We've briefly uh, seen you the other night. You. They are uh, the people that did uh, Mikkel a favor in returning his Ah, uh, oh, yeah, Mick, uh-huh. he's the guy who said we could get 35% off yeah. of the ship, didn't he? Yeah. Great oh, job. Mick was a fantastic guy, yeah. We've... <laughs> 35! Amira, Amira yeah. do you think you can uh, extend such a discount to them? Well, I don't know about that. Um, you don't know? 35. Oh, he doesn't know. 35 is a very deep discount. Oh, you better talk to Mickle about that. Oh, that's strange. strange. What is strange it that makes well, you I mean, so worthy? I never speak to this fine... No, it's not so much that, that we think we're so worthy as the fact that we're owed this from Mikkel. He uh, promised it to us, and you know that he's such a, you know, a, what's the word? An honourable man. Honourable man. Honourable. Honours. Well he, respected and yeah. known. Respect. And he said, like, you owe him favours or whatever. And he said that this would be well, yes, yes, but Goyo here has explained that DA are requesting 30%. Oh, well, he just misremembered. Goyo stutters and beyond. giggles like a maniac. You can't trust everything, Gogo. He said it was 30. He forgot to say five when he said 30. Yeah, it was 30. Because he was giggling. Which would make that 14,000 gold ship you showed us the other day only 9,100 gold. We've already had our hearts set on it, and Mikkel promised us that, basically. Do a persuasion roll. God, I hope this is a good one. Don't mind me, I've just got to roll some dice. Let's get a good clear. This, this is the biggest roll, roll so far. <laughs> the thousand gold roll. Here it comes. Here it goes. Oh, it's like being in Vegas. Uh, 17 plus 9. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> 26. <laughs> oh, I suppose. What's another 5%? But go, yo. I want you to remember what I've done for you. And you three, too. I'm sure you'll help us work hard. Uh, I mean, our deal's more with Mikkel, uh, so we can't really owe you and Mikkel. You, Mikkel owes you. That is not what I'm saying. Perhaps yeah. I miscommunicated. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I'm talking to Goyo when I said, "Remember of course, what yeah. I did for your friends." Oh, I see. And for you, yeah, for I would ask that perhaps you help us with some of the repairs that may be required. You intend to buy a used ship? Oh, we'd like the Corvette Clipper. Ah, the Clipper. Yes. All seen grand. It's got front and mounted canyon, uh, cannons. This is the nicest looking one. Uh, the owner was blown to pieces on it. This one in the brochure. Yeah. It was used as a blockade ship, that one. Yeah. A blockade running ship, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Clipper, yeah. the yeah. fastest of, of the three we have. The fancy one, yeah. Indeed, four. the owner was blown to pieces whilst trying to run a blockade uh, of a few islands over. That's right, yeah, um, that one. Perhaps we should go and look at the ship and discuss any repairs or customizations you require. I presume you have the gold available. We do, we're not going to show you because we're... Fashion with... I mean, mean yeah. what, what does the upgrades do to this. the price? So the, the price of the ship is without <laughs> the upgrades, is that right? It'll look. Indeed, the price of the ship would be around 9,000 gold with the discount applied. Okay, Don't say that, that's a lot. That Any <laughs> extra, well, you stand before one of the greatest shipwrights in the Thousand Teeth. Three grand. We have many experts within the halls of my great shipyard. We would be able to improve it or change it in ways you may wish without having to build a whole ship to your spec. Mm. Use. Yes. Buying yeah. used truly is wisdom. That's, let's get, that's a good idea. Let's get the full experience going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. roll experience. out some 
campers or something and we'll have a little tour yeah. around and we'll just like hum yeah. and we'll about name the, the ship. Details. We'll just lob some bottles at the front of the ship yeah. like they do. Yeah, we've so, yeah, we got a ship and then and smash, smash it on it there. In, and, yeah, and the and maiden made. voided. Do yeah. we need a crew? What are we gonna, are we we're going to need a maiden for that. Aren't we? I don't know how to fly. How do you fly these fuckers? Oh. <laughs> Just grab the wheel and spin just it. Spin Is there the any wheel. like um, the pedals? ship oh. driving lessons we can have? For or... we have people within our field of expertise that would be able to take you out on a few ship trials. That'd be great. But any work in. required and training would be possible to do alongside each other. Uh, we would take the ship into dry dock. We would haul it out of the water to work upon it. And whilst that's happening, you can go out in one of the other ships and learn their ways. Uh, None of you know how to sail? I've got a bit of experience. <laughs> <laughs> a no bit. Experience like we said, we've got a massive easy. fleet, like we told you last time we were here, but we normally get other people to sail them for us. But this one is specifically for us. We're very observant people. And we can learn quick. Another question. What's the rule with ships? Do they have to keep their names or can we change their name? You may name this ship whatever you wish. It is mm. your ship. Do we go Clumsy Goose crazy. again or do we oh, pick a different yeah. it's, it's got it's building a name for itself, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll have to think about the name. We'll that think seems about like the name. Quite a do we go with my face on the step. sails again? I really I like, like to just see it first. I really oh, let's like have a look at it. Show us the ship. No, I think we should just work out whether my Start. face is on the sails. Let's, let's not think about that yet. Okay. Start. As you're chatting, a, show us the ship. Show us the ship. A young boy appears with a tray and a wooden jug. And, and we'll put back hand in. Please do not be alarmed. This is one of my apprentices. Okay. Uh, you requested drinks, did you not? Why is he so and, young? Uh, did, yeah. Yeah. She takes the cups and, and, and fills them, and it's a. Um, uh, this is a blueberry wine. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Hands went out to each of you. Now well, this feels like the experience. Oh, this is. We're just high-paying hey, customers. Now, Again. may I show you to the ship you may be interested in purchasing? Before we do, cheers. 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 To us. Cheers. What if it's poison? Never take a risk. <laughs> <laughs> Just the wrong thing. There's the guy who <laughs> bought lobster. <laughs> I know where it's been. <laughs> I know where this lobster's been. Shows to the ship. I down it, yeah. Very right, good. Let's go. You, I'm used to dealing with um, eccentric customers. This is nothing new. Uh, very well. She takes you down to um, the, the pontoons, the areas where they had the previously showed you down the ramp, down the launching ramp down to their pontoons where they have three, four ships moored up. You recognize the clipper you saw previously, a fast looking ship. Look at that beauty. Long, sleek, uh, with some armaments in place. Several sails that are cut in a manner that looks as though it's designed for speed. Uh, it has a small hull, hull uh, this has a small hold. Um, so it, it is capable of uh, transporting goods. Um, however, it is not cavernous, let's say, um, but a fine ship nonetheless, it seems in good condition. However, it could do with a lick of paint. Uh, there are many upgrades we could perform. If you'd like to approve the ship, um, we can take it up into dry dock and consider what it is you may be interested in, in changing about it. Well, we've got a budget with which we'd like yes, to Yes, what stretch. is your budget? Let us say this ship is 9,000. Oh, it thank done. you for knocking the extra 100 off. Well, I hope that that would encourage you to spend a bit more on well, take it as it is. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Let's say we got 3,000 to play with. Mm, very good, a good budget. Yes, 3,000 would be, um, would allow you to do several different improvements. We could talk hull material, mm. we could talk armament, we could perhaps imbue it with some special properties, perhaps magical. Indeed, we could even uh, look at hiring some form of enchanted crew. Uh, oh, could we get in the same yeah. way as Mikkels, oh. oh. but automaton or perhaps elementals of some... Or oh, you know what? Mm. Yeah, golems and shit, they don't talk back. And you don't have to, you have to deal with the fucking boys. Yeah, but oh. when you're at sea, sometimes it's nice to talk to someone, isn't it? Well, we've got Kevin for that. Oh, Kevin mm. isn't very talkative. Kevin, no, I've not seen a Kevin. You don't need to worry about Kevin. Do you oh. want to see him? I, I could see him, yes. Well, you won't. <laughs> that is your decision. Okay. Again, this is like somebody who works in the luxury market of like ships, so they just, just know that care. like most of their customers are just assholes. How about, how about, <laughs> all right, Kapeeps, so long as the budget provides, yeah. we get mostly automaton style crew that do the, the rigging and all the yeah, bait and the swabbing and, the, swab and yeah. the cargo yeah. movement, but we have one first mate. 
Kevin. We upgrade Kevin. No, I don't so, want him out. Like, as soon as he comes out the hole, Kevin, what do you think he's he gone. I think he's got a lot of potential. If they can do some sort of magic on the ship, what, to, put uh, him in a tube or something. No, just make him it okay for him to walk around on this ship. Like they're not creating new ethereal crew, but they might be able to make it so that he's trap safe. him. Safe on the on trap the him. on the ship. Trap, trap him. Trap him on the ship, but we can take him in the hole when we need him. I just get angry every time I see him. I think that might be bad for the ship morale. I just want to. Clip him around the ears, you know? Right, I mean, we'll, have, always to, we'll hole. have to have auditions always then, hole. if you don't yeah, want We to need do first mate auditions. I have another question. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to do some auditions for first mate. I have mate, another yeah. question for um, someone's high over here. How do ships normally get their captains, and can we have free captains with free hats? Well, typically it depends on who owns the ship. Often and the owner of the ship will not be the captain. They would uh, choose their captain. However, you are buying your ship. If you wish We're to joined. sail it yourself, you may deign whoever captain you like. And we have three captains on the ship. There are no rules against And how captain. do we get the hat? Do we have to buy that from a shop? You Does buy it... the hat. We yes. buy the hat because it's yes. a very important part of being a captain. I mean, thinks that this isn't their remit. They don't, they don't care what we do with it once we got it. Well, I just don't know the rules of the As long as your money is good, we will provide you with money. We good. Should we be three equal, like, partners in this captain's What about seat? like different sections of the sure, ship? Yeah. No, I was thinking more of like, you know, I hold the top bit of the wheel, you hold the right bit and then the left bit and we'd steer it together. Right. Like uh, like free cap, we all have an individual hat, not like, one, not like one yeah, big no, hat, but like we have our own captain, captain, as we pass on the ship nice. we say Should we captain? also get one large jacket which we all fit We could in, all fit in. And then it kind of yeah. engulfs if, all three of us. If only it can have in. your magical word on it. Right. Yeah, we can billow it. Oh. Sorry? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Apologies. That happens sometimes when I say the word billow. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh you again. Again. <laughs> Look at that. I'm billowing all over the place. Billow, 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 billow. <laughs> Please. Uh, what are the upgrades, billow? <laughs> what upgrades we could do? We could... We want it fast, we want it hard, we want it powerful, we want to kill, but we also want to be cuddly. And we want a crew. All the C's. All and some of the K's. All the K's and crews. And um, we can uh, build the hull from, or we can, we can either clad the hull, uh, much like in the style of uh, the Castellia, uh, of the sea, uh, city by the sea. We do actually have some guys in town. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get third party engineers coming in to do augments, but. We could uh, have them consult. Yeah, we, we know some people with some armor plates mm -hmm. that are willing to uh, add that on as well. Was there perhaps a horn or a tooth you had as well? Yeah! That's not, that's not her saying <laughs> that, that's, that's me saying that. mast head on the front. There was indeed that. Do you do stuff, do you do, do you do stuff with sails? Like could we have, you know, tinted sails so we can rock up and then we just like to reveal us behind the tinted sails? Within reason, whatever your 3,000 gold will stretch to, you come to me with uh, ideas and I, my artisans will tell you whether or not those are possible. Okay. Uh, the armament, there is already some small armament on the ship, but if you wish to change the armament, if there's a particular kind of armament, perhaps, uh, for example, if you were whaling, you may want uh, grapple harpoons. Uh, perhaps if you were doing combat, you'd want larger cannons. Depends on what you plan on doing uh, with it. If you want to be fast, you would be lightly armoured. Uh, I other did like a little biter. That was quite fun. That's good, wasn't it? What about the bedrooms? So, how many bedrooms are there? And what, is, what are the furnishings like? Well, there's a captain's, uh, the, well, the, there is the, the cabin at the rear, nice. where the officers' quarters we could be Lovely. configured. We we'll can put you a dining table in there, in there. Uh, three chairs, absolutely. There's also sort of a, a small map room, uh, things like that. In the hull of the ship, uh, it's currently configured into a large cargo, well, a, a cargo space takes up the majority of the hull. However, that could be, uh, we could put in walls and uh, bedrooms. You could either have fixed beds or hammocks or movable hammocks. Glass bottom. I want a glass bottom. Glass hull. bottom glass sounds bottom. ideal. I want to see the fish. Yeah. Glass bottom boat. And a prison. We want a small prison at the bottom. Absolutely. We can a put jail. a jail. Just we, we, we can put a cell. We can put some sort yeah. of storage cell, cell in yes. there. But they you can't see down the glass. Mm. They, don't the glass glass. they don't get to look. They don't get the tree. That's just under the They're three They're faced bedrooms. away from the glass, so they yeah. don't get to see and so enjoy that. Glass can, the, can it be made as well so it's able to store an ethereal boy? Just the prison. A spirit boy. That would be something complicated. You would have to speak with our, um, our best arcane engineers to uh, assess whether that's possible or not. All right. 
It's but you want glass to, bottom bedrooms. Be nice to taunt Kevin. A metal cell put in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, tinted sails. Tinted sails. An iron maiden. You want uh, an iron maiden? You could buy elsewhere. Just put well, it on the you ship. can't do a custom iron maiden you want in the jail cells. A, a custom iron maiden with three iron captains quarters. Oh, you know, Spikes. you know the the fancy thing on the front. Yeah. Nice head. It's usually like a mermaid. It, it's an actually opens up. An open iron it's maiden. It's an iron maiden. <laughs> The figurehead. Ingenuity. A figurehead figure Iron Maiden, please. Amazing. A figurehead is, is a working Iron Maiden. Yes. Yes, please. I like it. it, it you could use it to um, torture and intimidate your enemies. Certainly mm. what we would do <laughs> if we were evil. Yeah. Yeah. We're nice people. Obviously. And yeah, maybe a cannon, maybe a harpoon. Maybe a cannon. It was a ship, the ship comes with a couple of cannons. I know it's got little ones. I want a big boy. Maybe a large cannon, okay. Maybe a large cannon and a harpoon. Like you say, I'm now interested in whaling all of a sudden. And three captain's quarters have our own individual little desk areas, to, just to feel a bit like, oh, I'm Do you do any different, oh, yes. I'm a captain. Trim yes. options. Yes, I can do, we can do trim. Um, mm. We could have wood, you could have uh, gold, brass, steel, uh, obsidian. You do alloys? Uh, alloys, yeah, we could, we could do, uh, alloys are just a mixture of of metals. What what would you what alloy uh, what would you like? size inch? What size alloy? Inch, yeah. Mm. We could In do inches. um we could do three inch bar. Yeah, because I want like something to like hold nicely as you like look over the ship's side. Oh, and, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Lean on those alloys and right. yeah, nice can they be spinners? Inch. So they just like spin them while we're we could perhaps mount spinning discs to the outside of the hull. Yeah, because that'll help with deterrence as well. Like anyone that climbs up, they're like, ah, ah, they're, Keeps the gulls yeah. off. What kind of lighting up options to. do you have? Lighting. Yeah, yeah. you got like lights. Lighting, it. well, it's a good question. Um, we we usually one put of Bob sconces and, and protected metal lanterns around yes, to, yeah. to help from For fire. For nighttime, can we get one of Bob and Nob's stained glass window things with the the dis they had candles behind the stained glass window thing, didn't they, that span and kind of gave like a really nice... Party deck. We want a party deck. We want a party, party, want a party, party deck for night times, basically. Party deck. Party deck. Time. Make sure it's nice for dancing on. And an audio amplifier. Mm. We could build some wooden contraptions that perhaps would allow it to amplify the sound. Uh, Excellent. And we want Sticky Mickey to do some performances with some night lights, nice light shows and stuff. We'd like to be able to mm -hmm. like go on tour with Oh, yeah, my show. Yeah, yeah, a floating yeah. stage for Sticky Mickey. It'd be like a, a sail through system where you could sail up well, and watch yeah. the performance. Yeah, we, we take some coin and then they sail mm. away. We Anything might else? Be, we might even be able to link up some sort of light box thing with a mirror and a pinhole and then like it bounces up onto a, a mast. So it's like a project. What the fuck project. are you talking about? I'm thinking like, so it's like that a projector. Sounds, that's never so going to work. people miles away can see my that's performance not work. on the big screen. That'll never catch on. Oh, okay. Seems like an advanced. No. That's not magic. Sorry about that. I hate that. Sorry about that. Yeah. You bet. It's because he's a concept magician. You sorry, that, that was going a bit overboard. Sorry. Well, let's keep it. Let's keep it grounded. So we're having alloy spinners. We're having tinted masks. <laughs> Says on her phone. No. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, so I've got a, a big list of ideas here. Let's take these to the drawing board. Uh, let's talk to the artisans and see what they can reasonably achieve. And we'll see how far the budget stretches because mm -hmm. that, that list quickly became uh, expensive. Mm. Let's Did just it? say. We'll even get onto the neon masts. Yeah. Also, I rounded down. I've actually got 16 more gold than I said. What? Just so. 16? We've got tell. a bit of, we can don't stretch tell, the budget tell. a little yeah. bit, is what I'm well, saying. I've got okay. two silver 16 as well. We'll so push it up a little bit. Right. Yeah. Let's just say we're flush. All right. Well, gentlemen, if you'd like to accompany me back up to the shipyard, uh, I will introduce you to the staff. Wonderful. Mm. Fantastic. So you walk up, she leads you back up, very happy with uh, all the ideas that you've come up with. I, I aggressively grab the young child and make, <laughs> I'm showing him shaking my empty cup of blue wine. <laughs> He's what? like sloshing and trying to put, pull her back in your cup. Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> Push, I push their face away. Oh! Is it poison? Is it poison? No, I'm all right at the moment. It's not poison. All right at the moment. I'll have one. Thank you. That one might be though, Titus. You never know. Shit. You're right. <laughs> Fuck it. Don't put on the head. <laughs> Why was you trying to poison me, boy? <laughs> I'm having an excuse of a child. <laughs> Uh, you know Tritons are allergic to blueberries. <laughs> um, Anything blue. <laughs> poison me with blueberries. <laughs> Pathetic. So inside uh, the shipyard, um, they explain to you that it's going to take a month 
Um, what? This, the, the, most of the ideas and designs coming up with, we should be able to do this in a month. We'll haul the ship out a today month? and we'll begin work immediately. A month? Uh, we think we can train you up reasonably within a week or two to operate most of the ship's systems. Um, however, uh, we shall see how that goes. We'll have to do that after like next week because he's busy next week. Oh. That's a good point. Yeah, he's, he's tied himself into what is known as Grandpa role play week. Yeah, and you're his mum, and I'm his brother. I'm, I'm, I'm now. His, I've agreed to be the mother. I'm now the son of. Are you the of son you. of? Are you? Yes. What, his brother. Yeah, mummy. Mm. You are his brother. You're my son. For yeah. The week. I, I call this you mummy. We and I call you granddad. It's a complex arrangement yeah, well, that we agreed the, in order for some. If you want the glass boat bomb? Exactly. Then I'm gonna, we're going to have no, to grandpappy exactly. it up. Maybe we, I, I feel like we can get more money. Out of I reckon. So. I reckon I think we if we do a good job. Extend of role playing his family. Mm. Do it for the um, whole month. Well, yeah. Let's see how weird it gets. Don't uh, think about it too we'll, much. We'll gauge. Anyway, that's nothing to do with you. That's just something that we're doing for the first week. Can anyway, we some, three like, weeks of that. We get some updates three and weeks. stuff. Like yes. send us messages week, and things. And, like, Goyo. Keep it personalized and stuff. Yeah, yeah of course. You Maybe can, some you brass can come rubbings. down to the shipyard anytime you like, and we'll we'll give you some etching. We'll be in the crown some Good. nights as well. You'll always see us in there, I'm sure. Yeah, making some money, performing some shows. Yeah. Pouring. Yeah, we should have at least 10, 15 grand by the end of this month, just from all the various things that we've done on autopilot. <laughs> well, I wish you all the best. Uh, it's been crossed. a pleasure. And I look Fingers forward crossed. to delivering your finished magnificent ship, of which you need to come up with a name in Lost. a month's time. Brilliant. Oh yeah, we're going to we'll need do. that for the yeah for the plaque. You won't get a name until you seriously see the finished product. you smash it with a bottle. And you have to hit a bottle against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Watch the fluids go. Just so you know, we use bottles of piss in the gold tooth hour. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. We were going to do that. So. Default nothing, yeah. Good. That's fine. Thank and that uh, uh, brings to a, the end of uh, session nine, part two of Booty High Seas Low Expectations. The gang have now finally paid for their ship and it is being yes. created. When we return mm. in four weeks, or so on October 19th, as long as everything goes to plan. Well, that'll be the live one, the video. That'll will be. be live here on October 19th on twitch.tv slash hatfilms. Uh, we will return with some more experienced, leveled up characters and a brand new ship of wondrous things. They uh, intend to sail from the Gold Tooth Isle, I believe, and take on uh, the greatest challenge in the Thousand Teeth, known as the Horn. Uh, so let's see how well they manage to achieve that, where we go into Act 3, the final act of booty for now uh, until we start a new campaign probably next year but don't miss that there's more to come stick with us and catch up on all of it uh, whether it be on podcast or on youtube uh, at youtube.com slash hat films thank you once again to all our patreons for supporting this we really appreciate it yes and there is more to come anything from you guys just thanks for watching Have a great thanks time. for enjoying this yep. journey with us if you're watching this you've obviously watched it all Indeed. So far. Thanks for catching up, and we'll see you in Act 3. Indeed. And hopefully more after that. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.